Welcome to TravelNowSmart.com, the place where travelers and locals meet. In today's video, I'm going to talk about 17 best places to visit in California. If you've ever been to California, make sure you comment down below and let me know your favorite place. Also, hit the like button, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we post a new video. We will try to make it every other day, so make sure you stick around. At number 17 we have Shasta Trinity National Forest. Located in Northern California, you'll be surprised to see snow at the peak even during summer. Make sure you stop at designed lookout points to see Mount Shasta from the distance. Endless miles of unspoiled wilderness, well-maintained forest roads, crisp clear alpine lakes and amazing backwoods camping opportunities. Make sure you visit the downtown area as well. At number 16 we have Lhasa National Forest. One of the most scenic and beautiful national forests in Northern California. You could very easily get lost thanks to the picturesque nature all around. Make sure to stop at some lookout points as the views are incredible. So many nice walks and hikes you won't be disappointed. Lots of lakes, campgrounds and trails. It resembles the Yellowstone National Park minus the crowds. It is one of the best places to visit in California and number 16 on our list. At number 15 we have Emerald Bay State Park. Located near South Lake Tahoe, this beautiful state park can get crowded during weekends and holidays. Parking can fill up fast, so make sure you arrive early. The views of Lake Tahoe are mesmerizing. You can spend hours hiking around. A must visit for all those who love clean alpine air, breathtaking views, clear and pristine water. The best way to experience Lake Tahoe is by renting a kayak and get on water. It is one of the best places to visit in California and number 15 on our list. At number 14 we have the Muir Woods National Monument. Located near San Francisco, just 40 minutes drive away, you'll be surprised to find a nature like this. Paved trails makes it great for all level hikers. Expect to see wildlife like turkeys and wild deer. Compared to other well-known national parks like Yosemite and Sequoia, the Muir Woods seems very small in comparison. The parking fee is just $8 and the entrance fee is $15 per person. You can also use your annual national park pass if you have one. At number 13 we have Santa Catalina Island. Take the ferry and head to Catalina Island. It takes around 1 hour ride from Long Beach, California. Just the ride itself is fun and once you get there expect to see many hotels, shops, restaurants and much more. The activities are endless. Enjoy swimming in the refreshing Pacific Ocean, away from the crowds. It is a perfect getaway from the mainland to enjoy the privacy and relax on pristine beaches. You can even rent a golf cart and explore the island. At number 12 we have the Carlsbad Village. Go back in time to explore vintage and artsy shops, variety of restaurants, pubs and much more. The area makes it perfect for everyone, couples or families as well. You can expect live music every night. Just around the corner is beautiful beach where you can cool off after exploring the historic city. At number 11 we have the Old Town San Diego Historic Park. Go back in time and explore this historic park located in downtown San Diego. You will be taken back to 19th century atmosphere. There are many shops and restaurants waiting to be explored. Also don't forget to visit many museums which are absolutely free and learn more about the history. Parking can be limited so make sure you arrive early. At number 10 we have the Alcatraz Island. A fantastic experience from start to finish. It is a lovely boat ride to the island and this infamous prison has to be seen from the inside. The audio tour gives you so much information about the prison, the guards who lived on the island and of course about the prisoners who were imprisoned there and the many escape attempts that were made. The audio tour is around 2 hours, you get a real sense of history walking around the prison. 
you also learn lots of surprising facts about what life on the island was like. There is only one company that has permission to land on the island and Alcatraz is popular, so book your tickets well in advance. At number 9 we have Newport Beach. Visit this secluded beach that is still a hidden gem in California. You will be rewarded with small crowds and water temperature that's more than refreshing. And make sure you look out for dolphins as there are plenty of them. There is also an expansive bike trail that will lead you 2 miles away Huntington Beach. You can rent a bike for as little as $5 per hour. Plenty of food options along the way to make your tummy happy. If you can drink off season, the beach is almost yours. At number 8 we have the Balboa Park in San Diego. Let's start with one of the most beautiful parks in San Diego and probably California as well. You will be worried with ponds, flora, fountains and architectural design. There are also numerous museums waiting to be explored, so make sure you visit at least one. And for those who like to stay active, there are paved hiking trails. You can expect to spend several hours or even a whole day in the Balboa Park. The admission is free, but donations are always welcome. Also the popular San Diego Zoo is just next to Balboa Park, so visit them both for the ultimate experience. It is one of the best places to visit in California and number 8 on our list. At number 7 we have the Joshua Tree National Park. Explore one of the best national parks in California. You will be grateful that you visited. There is a lane on the main road in which you pull off to. From there you can walk any direction you like. The nature of Joshua Tree National Park will make you feel like out of this world. There are also numerous paved trails which are usually an easy hike. Make sure you got your camera ready. The place is surrounded by mountains and huge rocks. The open space makes it perfect for unlimited hiking. And if you don't want to walk, you can easily drive around the park. It is one of the best places in California and number 7 on our list. At number 6 we have the Santa Monica Pier. Visit some of the best beers in California and have fun all day long. There are tons of things to do. Getting tan on the beach, shopping for some unique treats, surfing, a mutant park and even aquarium if you want to explore the marine life. Make sure you look out for sea lions and dolphins. Also, admire the many street performances that take place all over the pier. The park closes at 7pm, but make sure you stay till the end and watch the sunset. One of the best places in California at number 6 on our list. At number 5 we have the Pfeiffer Beach. Explore this beautiful place located in the Big Sur and enjoy walking along the shore, picnic or take mesmerizing pictures of the area. The best time to take such pictures is when the sun sets. It's important to know that Pfeiffer Beach is pretty well known and can get crowded super fast so make sure you arrive as early as possible. The sand is unique because of its pink color. The parking area is also very limited. Entrance fee is 12 dollars per car and it takes you around 1.5 miles from Highway 1 to the entrance of the park. It is one of the best places in California at number 5 on our list. At number 4 we have the Valley National Park. Very unique national park that I have visited a few times in the past. The scorching hot weather will be your worst enemy. Death Valley National Park straddles Eastern California and Nevada. It's known for Titus Canyon with a ghost town and colorful rocks and Bedwater Basin Salt Flats, North America's lowest point. Above, Telescope Peak Trail weaves past pine trees north of the spiky salt mounds known as the Devil's Cold Course. Rattlesnakes live in mesquite flat sand dunes. 
It is one of the best places to visit in California at number 4 on our list. At number 3 we have Sequoia and King Sky on National Park. Another park that is truly unique from others is Sequoia National Park. It's known for its huge sequoia trees, notably the General Sherman tree dominating the giant forest. Huge mountains, rock foothills, deep canyons, vast caverns, and the world's largest trees. These two parks lie side by side in the southern Sierra Nevada, east of the San Jacolin Valley. At number 2 we have the Yosemite National Park. My another favorite national park that I fell in love with. I have been there several times and got amazing experience each time. There are many beautiful hikes from easy trails to the most difficult ones. The Yosemite National Park is located in California and is around 4 to 5 hours away from San Francisco Bay Area. It takes around 6 hours to get there from Los Angeles. Yosemite National Park includes nearly 1,000 square miles of mountain scenery, including high cliffs, deep valleys, tall waterfalls, ancient giant sequoias, and a large wilderness. Millions of people visit Yosemite each year to experience its beauty and its many opportunities for enjoyment. At number one, we have Pacific Coast Highway. If road trip is your favorite way to travel, you have to take Highway 1 in California. Beside the potential coastline fog, you can get spectacular views from every turn you take. Some of the most amazing places on this route are McWay Waterfall, Big Sur, Lobo State National Park, Horse Castle and many more. Take your time and make sure you don't rush. I hope you enjoyed the video about 17 best places to visit in California. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe down below and hit the notification bell so you get notified each time we post a new video. We will try to make it every other day so make sure you stick around. Also follow us on Instagram at travelnowsmart.